few weeks ago, we brought you the story of a beautiful young woman suffering with a birth defect that left her without a smile. My name is Jessica, I'm 20 years old, and I have congenital hypodontia, which means almost all of my adult teeth are missing. Because I only have six of my adult teeth and four molars in the back, I have to eat pretty much liquids, if not very soft foods. She had all baby teeth taken out of her bottom jaw, which is really devastating. All she had was gums. I absolutely feel like I am. A burden to my family is just emotionally draining for everybody. It's terrible. I think the worst part is it's, it's scary because we just don't know how we're gonna be able to get the help for her. What I want more than anything is just to truly and genuinely be able to smile for the first time. One of the uh, hallmarks of this condition is that these teeth never develop, and because they never develop, the bone that supports the, the lips never develops as well, and therefore, she has a very sunken in face if these last remaining teeth fall out. This procedure is upwards of sixty to eighty thousand dollars. So, Jessica, what I'd like to do is to put together a team, and together with me, we could do the all-on-four procedure. It would be the biggest makeover ever. As promised, our good friend and cosmetic dentist, Dr. Bill Dorfman, joined forces with board-certified oral and maxillofacial surgeon, Dr. Stephen Kupferman, to give Jessica the smile of her dreams free of charge. Jessica, I'm really excited. We have Sam here. He's our master dental technician. We're gonna take out your front two teeth. Sam brought me some models. We're gonna position your teeth. Perfect, okay. I can't wait. The two front teeth are protruding so much that we need to take them out so we can start to realize where her real arch form is. Two front teeth are out. Let's go see Dr. Kupferman. Okay. That's great. We're gonna be using the all on four with a small variation by placing the upper left implant into her cheekbone. First, we're gonna remove the last four baby teeth in Jess's upper jaw. All right, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. There's Jess's four baby teeth with some braces on them. Okay, so we're lifting up all the gum tissue here to find the remaining bone in Jess's upper jaw. You can see how thin the bone is where no teeth really develop. All right, so we're gonna put in the two front implants here in the front, nice and solid. Into the next one. This is number two. We're gonna engage the floor of the nose, which is very solid bone. We're gonna test the stability of these implants using this real solid bone underneath her nose to support these two front implants. We're gonna to move towards the back to place the two back implants. 78 is excellent. Anything over 70 on this scale means that we can have enough strength to hold the denture. Prepping for the fourth implant, we've uh, opened up into Jess's sinus here, and we've noted that she has certainly enough bone to place an implant in the standard all on four fashion, and we won't have to go into her cheekbone. Now I'm gonna put in the fourth implant here. It's in, let's check it out. 82. There we go. The implant appears to be extremely stable. So the plan for the bottom is to put in four implants. We have a few teeth to take out, just like we did on the top. Now I'm gonna put in the four implants. You close her up and then we'll bring her down. We were able to put that upper left implant in a normal way, which is great for Jessie. She'll heal faster. We'll get a great result. Jessica is here today with her brand new smile. You all have to get this and understand this. She hasn't seen this either. She has not seen her new smile. Look once again at what she was like before. Missing most of her teeth, afraid to smile. This is one of the coolest makeovers we've ever done. Jessica, come on out. Jessica, I know how long this journey has been for you, mm -hmm. but you haven't seen this. I know I haven't. At She's all. been wearing a mask. Everywhere I go. So, four days ago, yeah. you had this done. Are you ready? I am so ready. I'm so excited. So, I, I want you to give us a big smile right there, and then right above it, you will see your beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh 
gosh. I can't believe that's me. Really quickly, just gonna smile into that camera. I wanna show everyone again at home what we're talking about here in terms of the difference. Because you go from having a smile you're ashamed of to a smile that truly is one of the more beautiful smiles you're ever gonna see out there. This is 20, 20 years of pain. Is this a painful procedure? Like, are you hurting now? How do you feel? Honestly, in my mind, no matter how much pain I've gone through in the last couple of days from the surgery and recovery is nothing and is so worth it. So I just want you guys to know, Sam, and you too, like, I don't, I think I can ever really truly repay, like, how much is gonna change my life. <laughs> Your mother and father, Brenda and Jim, are here in our audience. We also have all three of your sisters, Megan, Melissa, and Jamie, Aww. join us via Polycom. <laughs> Megan, I want to go to you really quickly because you originally wrote into the show saying, look, I have a, the most beautiful sister ever, but she's afraid to smile. What's it feel like to see this beautiful smile come to fruition? There's no words. It's just a dream come true. It, it's unbelievable. Jessica, you look so, so stunning. And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of emotion. This is just incredible. I can't express the joy. <laughs> the emotions are so great. Sam, Dr. Dorfman, and Dr. Kupperman, for, forever. As we see Jesse in her life be happy, we will be forever thankful. Well, we want to see. And for the doctor's show. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kupperman, one of the things I want to talk about briefly is this wasn't just cosmetics. You're talking about a young, beautiful lady who's had no teeth, who, you know, you're here trying to talk again because you've never had teeth to talk with. I know. But now just the ability to chew normally, beyond just the cosmetics, yeah. that in and of itself is huge, is it not? Yeah, there was, um, you know, we had a lot of trouble trying to find bone in Jess's mouth, and, uh, and that's what we need for the implants. And so fortunately, we were able to find uh, quite a bit of bone just below her nose and just in front of her sinuses, uh, and we were able to place those four implants. Initially going in, we thought we were gonna need to place an implant into her cheekbone, and uh, fortunately, we didn't have to do that. As she gets used to this, this she can live a normal, happy, healthy life. And really quickly, gentlemen, before we go, it really does, it takes an army to do this. Yeah. And so many people are involved, and we're just so thankful that you're willing to do this but just so many people stepped in here. It was amazing. Noble BioCare gave us the implants. Sam, I've never seen a technician do this in this amount of time. Dr. Kupferman, to get the implants in the way he did was, was a master. I mean, it, it was amazing. It took like 10 people to make one mouth. Wow. Well, and but you look all at it. did such it's a great job. <laughs> Jessica, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for being Everybody. here and sharing. And obviously, we want to thank the entire team, Dr. Dorfman, Dr. Company. Thank you so very much.